Emily, you're coming towards the end of your first season at I2I. I. How have you enjoyed your maiden season at the academy? I've enjoyed it very much. Um, coming into this season was a roller coaster, which I think made it interesting. Otherwise, it'd be very boring. But having made a lot of friendships and connections throughout the academy and um, being able to explore the city, see what there is, has really uh, made this experience very interesting and fun. You mentioned friendships there. I mean, you've struck up quite a close friendship with Julia Narmore. Um, how important is it to have those relationships with your teammates? I think it's very important, um, especially being here on your own without family around. Having these kind of relationships throughout, um, like with teammates or even other friends who are in the academy, uh, having them close because if they're also going through something similar. So you guys can always lean on each other, vent to each other, and just having someone you can trust really helps you know that you're not alone. This last weekend, the girls secured another trophy, thanks in no small part to your wonder strike. Have you managed to get over that yet? And are you finally going to admit that it was a cross? Um, still a bit on the high. Very happy about that. Um, it was a shot, not a cross. No matter what anyone says, it is a shot. If you look closely at the video, the ball goes straight. Well, that was uh, trophy number five for the season and what has been a season full of success. You've secured five out of a possible six. Mm -hmm. What do you think made such a successful season possible? I think having the team build each other up, um, being able to support, on, um, support one another, having each other to just push each other during practices and even games, um, knowing that no matter what the outcome was, everyone was still proud of each other, knowing that we would always give our 100% and just having our coaches as well, um, being able to push us and knowing that we could always do better than what we give, uh, which really helped raise standards. You mentioned your coaches there. You've worked very closely with coaches Chris, Lauren and Tom this season. Uh, how have you found it working with those guys and their experience? I found it very, very nice. <laughs> Uh, from back home, I've uh, been coached by uh, coaches uh, from Spain, from Germany, and from England. So coming here and being coached by them has some kind of similarity and uh, fam familiarity. So it was nice to kind of see how they interpreted the game and how they wanted to be um, for us to attack or whether to defend and how um, they just want us to do better for um for ourselves and the team as a whole from an individual standpoint how do you think your game and you as a footballer has improved and developed over the course of this first season um uh, i think it's it started out a little rough because coming into a new team as a first year obviously kind of gives a bit of nerves and everything but throughout the season i've been able to kind of build up my confidence and my courage to um, to now where I feel very comfortable with the team and I can I know that they'll be there for me if I need them to be so I think it just it's been a it's been a very good help knowing that they're there so going into your second year with the academy there's still plenty left to achieve from both a team and an individual perspective but for yourself what are your hopes and aspirations for your second season for my second season, I want to continue um, being able to just be confident in myself, um, knowing coming into the first year, like I said, it was very nerve-wracking. Um, I know that I could give a lot more than what I've shown, and I think going into my second year, being more comfortable with everyone, knowing who's around me, and being able to really express myself, I, I'll be able to continue that and increase my confidence and show what I can really do. Thank you, Emily. Thank you.